An invasive plant species may have helped the bighorn fire spread through the desert and more closely to homes than previous wildfires. News for Tucson's Shelly Jackson takes a closer look at the ongoing threat of buffalo grass. And we're hoping to use the, the near miss essentially of the bighorn fire to say this could have been a lot worse, especially where it matters most for people, which is their homes. Uh, and, it, and it can be a very scary future if we don't do anything now. Researcher Ben Wilder is warning about the dangers of buffalo grass. Locally, the invasive non-native species has nearly doubled in the past 20 years. Wherever buffalo grass grows, fire can follow it. As buffalo grass spreads, it creates a link between traditionally non-fire prone areas like the desert and fire prone areas like the forest. As buffalo grass does fill in areas, you know, it forms very dense fuel stands and it does provide fuel for wildfire. So all it takes is an ignition. That with unmitigated expansion of buffalo grass, which is more or less what's happening now in, in the uh, Catalina foothills, that you have these linkages between fuel types and the fires will be able to either go up in elevation or downslope in elevation, uh, really imperiling uh, the wildland urban interface. Shul says they haven't seen buffalo grass grow much above Molino Basin in the Coronado National Forest, but it's still a huge concern. When you get this buffalo grass, it'll form these dense, it'll be uh, patches and it's continuous fuel. So once it ignites, there's a lot there to burn. It can burn very quickly. It can burn very hot. Wilder says mitigation is the key to combating the threat. Starting in about the 2040s is that the buffalo grass has reached an inflection point of having that full expansion. And, uh, and that's where you get this recurring cycle of, of, of fires and grass expansion that um, there's no coming back from. In Midtown, Shelly Jackson, News 4, Tucson.